Welcome back to Video Tutorials Excel 2013 Day 16 Exercise 2 Okay, today we will continue working with charts Excel charts to use Okay, it's going to be under Unit D, EX, D5 Okay, let's go ahead and snap that Little note to the right hand side My Excel student files to the left hand side Okay, so here's Unit D we are going to open EXD5. Okay, and then we are going to be using Save As under Computer under my Excel student files. And add advertising expenses. Save. There you go. So this is just another exercise, okay? Another exercise to continue working with charts. We are gonna be creating two different charts in this case, okay? So and also do a little bit of format here, okay? So we have all the the, the tables already. We have the formulas, okay? And then right here, he, see we have a small summary, okay? So this information here belongs to the data up here, as you guys can see, we have exactly the same total. Okay, it's just that right here we have one village, one world. Um, it's just a summary. Okay, some two components we put them into one cell. So perfect. Now, I'm just gonna be doing a little bit of format, format here. Okay, just a little bit of format. Okay, so this is our advertising expenses. We're gonna continue working with charts. Now, in this time, there's gonna be occasions that we are gonna be using data, okay, from two different ranges, two different locations into the same spreadsheet. Okay, so let's say that in this case here we wanna create a chart using the type and the new the type of advertising, and we also wanna include this other column the extended cost okay now as you guys can see when I select one range range and when I come and select the other range the first range is going to be unselected okay so now this time we're going to select the first range anytime that you guys want to create okay or select multiple ranges we select the first one when we get to the second one we hold on control we left click, hold the left button, and then we start dragging it down. That's gonna allow me to create, I mean, to select two different ranges of cell in two, dif two different parts of the spreadsheet. Okay, so remember, left click, hold and drag over to select the first one. Before I start selecting the second range, I'm gonna hold and control, left click on the left button of the mouse and then drag it down where I still holding control. When I'm done selecting my selection, I'm gonna release the left button and then release control. Okay? So we don't want to include all this information with uh, between. We just wanna include the type and the extended cost. Okay? Now back to insert. Um uh, let's see if we could use one of the combos. And let's see what we can come back uh come up with. Now you see the difference? Okay. When we use multiple data, see it looks like uh under the combo it wasn't giving me. It wasn't giving me okay the preview. So that's fine. Okay. In this case I'm gonna go with the 3D. 3D pi. Some process one from one of the corners we we'll left click, hold and drag. We could resize it, etc. etc. Okay, so there it goes. Okay, that's the extended cost for this company advertising expenses. Okay. Now let's say that let's say what options do we have? Okay, um okay, there you go. See X style five. It's just gonna give me a stronger colors, which is nice. 
and I'm definitely going to go with that. Okay, now we're going to be using a little bit of the quick analysis tools here. Here, see, we have the chart elements. Okay, from here, I'm going to be adding um, just the data labels. Okay, now if I click into one of these numbers, okay, all the, all the others are going to be selected. Okay, now the reason why I did that is because I want to return to the home and change the phone color to another one because we could barely see that color. Okay, so I'm definitely going to go with dark red. I'm going to have to make it bold. Uh, we're probably going to have to resize it a little bit. There you go. Okay, as you guys can see. This data label is outside, but it's creating that little line that is indicating that belongs to that small color here. Okay. Now, uh, if we click into this other tool, see we have the styles, colors, and depending on this, on the if we don't have any more space on the right hand side, it's gonna open on the to your left hand side. Okay, but none of these options gonna work. Okay, now you guys need to be careful. You guys are planning to print this, right? Well, I'm just gonna leave it like that to close that. I'm just gonna click. Uh, I'm sorry, let me check the color. No, 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 no. If I don't want to use any of those options, I click outside. When I click into the chart, again, I have this tools, elements, chart styles chart filters we don't want to filter anything here okay now yeah, I'm gonna click right here into my legend and I'm gonna say okay you know what I want to use the same color that I, I just use up here and I'm also want to apply bold to that now these text boxes remember these are text boxes we could always expand them manually or we could go to the format and see see in this case there's going to be occasions where that when some tools is not available, this is going to be dimmed out. But in this case, here we could resize that just by dragging it from the size. Okay, and I'm going to have to change the color back too because I don't want to get this data confused with the other one, with the data labels up here. There we go, and I'm going to click on save. Yeah, so there's my spy chart now down here we have the summary in this case we don't need to select the first range and then use control and select the second one why because of the two columns that we're going to be using they are consecutive okay so now that i have my selection okay um i'm gonna go ahead and start using the quick analysis okay so that from the quick analysis i'm just gonna go ahead and Go with the charts, and it's gonna go with the same pie. Okay, so here's my new pie. Okay, we could definitely make it look exactly the same as the other because it has the same data. Okay, but this time we're gonna say, okay, we want to change switch rows and columns. That's not gonna work because it's only giving me the information for billboard. We'll change it back. And then this is what I'm gonna have to do, okay? I'm gonna try another style. And there we go. Okay. Now I'm just gonna look and expand this one. Okay, using the chart elements, I'm gonna be adding the data labels. Okay, we're gonna click into one of those data labels. Going back to home, we're gonna format that. And that's perfect. We have the legend. I'm gonna pull that. Make it a little bit bigger. And make sure that we click on save. Okay, 
Now I'm gonna go kind of expand this column over here. There you go. Let's see. Perfect. So there's my two eyes, okay? This is exactly the same data, exactly the same amounts, it's just two different. Okay, it's just two different eyes. Okay, perfect, and there we are. Okay, now uh, let's say that we want to print this out. Okay, we go to file, we have the print. Okay, on the right hand side, we have the print preview. All the way down here, we see Excel is telling me, hey, you have one or two. When I click into the error, there's a second. Okay, now from here, uh, under my settings, okay, I'm gonna change the portrait orientation to landscape and see if we could fit everything into one page. Okay, if I look into the under the preview, no, there's still a little bit. Okay, so now right here, I'm gonna have to use my margins. I'm gonna go with narrow. See, we steal a little bit of data that is going outside. Okay, so I'm gonna click into back here. And this is where I'm gonna go. Okay, I'm just gonna go ahead and drag my chart a little bit to the look on side. And I'll make it a little bit shorter. Second one is way big, so I'm gonna also make that one a little bit shorter from the side. Now when we come back to file and print, it is still just a little bit of data. Okay, so I'm gonna have to go back to margins and use a custom margins. Okay, so right here I'm gonna send all my data into the center. And I'm not gonna be including any headings on this case, well, some headings, and I'm gonna remove the margins from the left and the right hand side. Okay, and still, okay, still don't fit into it, so I'm gonna come back and shrink. There you go, that's not bad. Scroll down and shrink my other chart. Make sure that I click on save when we come back to file and print. There you go. Okay, just a little bit of data. So in this case, I'm going to be using the no scaling and say that I want to fit the sheet on one page. And now we have one on one. Okay, perfect. Now, under the setup, header, custom header, this is going to be international knowledge, under the custom footer, this is going to say by your last name. On the right hand side, include the date, and the left hand side, include the time. Can we change that? Yes, we could just highlight it, and apply date, and on the right hand side, I'm sorry, the date here, and on the right hand side, we highlight it and include the time. Okay, and okay, and there's my header and my phone. Okay, we go back, click on save, and press. Okay. Well, that's it for day 16 to continue working with charts. Thank you for watching, and you guys have a great day. Bye-bye.